Violence is the last refuge of the incompetent. When we meet face to face, you're going to regret every word you've ever said to me or about me. Guarantee fucking to you. So who's next? You're dead. You're dead meat. Pray that I catch you before God comes home. Because I won't be able to stop him once he gets here. Once they land, there ain't nothing I can do for you. You're gone. Good and gone. Real gone. You know, I mean, go ahead. You know, everybody's entitled to their opinion, but nobody's entitled to beat up somebody else because they don't like their opinion. That's not the way this country's supposed to work, lady. I'm just going to look for somebody to kill. Really, really, I'm going to track somebody down. I'm going to find out which one I can get to, and I'm going to get them. One thing I know for sure is that anybody who is trying to violently impose their will on another, regardless of how morally superior you believe your agenda is over the person that you are violently imposing your will on, you have violently imposed your will on somebody and you are morally wrong. And, and it's true, man. If I'm asked by a, 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 a proper authority to terminate you clowns, I'll do it. You know? I Skipper! You know, people who get violent with other people about their ideologies are the people that are, are screwing us all over. This is what, what keeps imperialism alive from century to century. This is there are people willing to fight it out with them, and if they win, then we're fucked over with their authoritarianism, and if they lose, we're fucked over by the carnage. Tom had to choke several people out over the years and almost like put Tom's fingers right through somebody's eyeballs into his brains once. I'm devoted to securing the right of all people to live free from the imposition of the will of any other person on them without their consent. Now let's just let that sink in a little bit. Um, so that I don't get accused of chimping out here or get laughed at by idiots who like to laugh at things that they don't understand. I am me. The me that is me is the same me that is every me on this planet. This is fact. This is... The <laughs> oh, fuck, an idiot. Someday I'm going to meet you face to face, buddy, and you're going to try to say that to my face, and you're either going to walk away in handcuffs or get carried away on a fucking stretcher, you fucking bozo. Ha! <laughs> Jerk. I can hardly wait to see what the fake Russian's been saying. I, I got the word on him that he's just a fucking pimply-ass kid in his mother's basement. They're all a bunch of alt-right, fucking misogynistic, frustrated, fucking wankers who can't get a girl to fall in love with them because they're such fucking hateful assholes. So, so they take it out on people like me. <laughs> Fuck you, you're idiots. Yeah, I had a mental breakdown, all right. I was like, I, I, got, I got wise and decided to stop wasting so much time on you and get other things done. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll deal with all that later. I'm going to do a bunch of reading here. This could be a couple hours. So I decided I'm not going to work lunch today. And I'm going to work, 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 uh, uh, work sunset. And, you know, I'm making, I'm making better money at sunset and it's closer to the house. <laughs> and then I'll work tonight at Barclay. Uh, you know, Tom will kill. Two pumpers!